Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video, but y'all, I'm pregnant. I'm currently 32 weeks pregnant. So yeah, it hasn't been really easy or like a priority for me to keep doing videos or even film content because I think I filmed content on TikTok for like maybe my first two months of my pregnancy but then I started getting really nauseous um, and yeah like it just was super bad and I couldn't really film so I was just taking time off but I have a huge huge makeup haul and I don't know if I'm going to split it up in part one and part two because it can be a lot of makeup but it's like things from Ulta, things from you know like new makeup that's been released. I pretty much went on like a makeup hiatus I wasn't really buying anything and I was selling a lot of my makeup like a lot of the makeup that I no longer wanted on Poshmark um, so if you're not following me on Poshmark I declutter makeup all the time because I really want to just like enjoy the makeup that I have and I don't feel like I have an obligation to keep everything and I'm always wanting new makeup you know I always want to try something new or restock on something and not everything works out for me so yeah um if i'm out of breath i'm sorry if that bothers you i'm sorry but like i said i'm pregnant so yeah i'd be out of breath and you know your girl's going through it but i really wanted to film my haul for you guys so that's why i'm doing this video okay so I'm going to show you guys some things that I bought from Ulta and if you guys hear me like taking things out of the bag, currently Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is going on so I've been picking up some things here and there, not every single day because honestly I don't want to like try out makeup that I'm not like not interested so just like things that I've seen and have caught my eye throughout the you know months. Um, so the first thing I'm going to start off with, no particular order, I'll go ahead and just tell you guys what I have. So this is the ColourPop High Tide Pressed Powder Palette, and this is a 9 pan eyeshadow palette. It's super freaking cute. Um, I haven't really been, like, catching up on a lot of things that I've purchased from ColourPop. I've, like, taken a break from them, but recently they have been coming out with cuter color stories. So I haven't bought everything that's been released. Um, there's been a lot of things that I haven't bought. Um, I have picked up some things, but not everything. Um, I used to pick up like every single launch. That's why I'm like explaining it, but excuse me. So this is the High Tide Pressed Powder Palette. Like I said, it's nine eyeshadows and this is what she looks like. As you guys can see, they're all pretty much like teal aqua you know like sea colors and i did see the feathered one there's another one called like fine feathered or something like that and it's like more pink and maroon but i saw it today in person at ulta and i wasn't really that into it so i am really glad i picked this up because i have liked the swatches the next purchase are two faced born this way concealers now I've been buying a lot of this stuff online, which is like a pro when I get the like right shade, but then a con when I don't get the right shade. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I really, really like it. I'm wearing it today, but I'm wearing this shade called Natural Beige or Light Beige. And I had to go into the store and get a lighter shade because it was too close to the tone of the foundation that I was wearing which I'll mention right now so this is what the shade vanilla looks like so this is like a really good match for me it looks a lot lighter and the thing is that it looks a lot lighter like on like in the tube um, but then when like you look at it in person and take it out and like test out the product that's when you can actually like tell the like the shade of it you know so that's why I kept messing up so yeah, I got the shade Vanilla, and then I also did pick up a like contouring shade, but girl, I don't know what I was thinking. I got way too deep of a shade. I got the shade Chestnut. Like I said, it may not look that, like, that crazy, but then I take it out, 
and I look at the shade and it's pretty deep as you guys can tell which is fine because I'm supposed to use it for contouring and that's what I'm using for my contour today like on my nose and like everywhere I would normally use to contour and it's not that bad but I feel like once I run out of this one I'll definitely get the shade like butterscotch or something um there is a lighter like there's a ton of deep shades so I'll probably get, go a few shades lighter on this one so yeah but it, I don't know I'll keep trying it out if I feel like it's way too dark then I'll just go to Ulta and return it so this is the Lancome Tent Idol Ultra Wear 24 hour color wear color wear I don't know y'all it's this foundation you know like everyone was raving about it a couple weeks ago so yeah I mean, not a couple weeks ago. They've been raving about it for a while now. It's been a pretty popular foundation. So I originally got the shade 250. And I had to go in and get the shade 270. Because honestly, I just feel way more comfortable about this shade than I did about 250. 250 was a little bit too light. So yeah, this, um, this one just looked a little bit more like my skin tone. And... I'm wearing 250 right now, which doesn't look that bad. I feel like it doesn't look that bad, but I feel like 270 will look a lot closer. Um, and I'm fair right now. I haven't really gone out anywhere. So The next products I'm going to show you guys are some things I did pick up during Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I believe this was like yesterday or the day before that. So this is the Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder um in ozone and this is the sun kissed effect bronzing powder in dune so yeah they're super cute um i've heard a lot of good things about this and i've heard that they're more of like subtle highlighters and like the bronzer is supposed to look like a really sun kissed and really pretty so this is a shade called ozone as you guys can see it's like a champagne i believe that's what it's described as on the website and then the skin bronzing powder in dune i was gonna get the shade lighter than this one I, I don't remember but i was gonna get like the first lightest shade and then i just ended up going with this one so this is supposed to be like a really soft bronzer and it looks really really nice um i just hope it gives me like a sun-kissed like glowy look and i heard that the highlighter isn't like too intense um which i haven't really been into highlighter lately so i decided to get that one and then also on sale was the Too Faced the natural nudes now this is like a nude neutral palette you know everyone has been saying that this is such a good palette like and for the longest time i didn't want to pick it up because i was like no it's 48 dollars but then they had it in the sale for 24 bucks which is half price and i thought that wasn't bad at all so this is what the palette looks like i just kept the cover on but yeah as you guys can see because the ring light is so bright but she's nude she's neutral i did pick up the undetectable medium to full coverage foundation there is a matte version to this as well if you guys are more oily so i did pick up the shade called a natural beige like i said I'm, i haven't been like really wearing makeup um, I need to like get back to like getting ready and stuff. So this is the shade called Natural Beige. And I definitely need to, you know, I'm going to pump it right now on camera. Yeah, that's like really dark as you guys can see. I definitely need to go a shade lighter. This is, like I said, that's the, the con of like ordering online. There is light beige. But I didn't swatch it in store because I wasn't sure if we could like swatch it. Um, and I couldn't really tell the tone. Like as good as I could tell the tone on the other one. On the Lancome one. So yes. Natural Beige. I can't wait to try this foundation. But I will have to return this one. Because it is very, very dark. Next we're going to talk about some Juvia's Place. This is the Blush Rose Palette. I'm already taking it out of its packaging. So, this is what this palette looks like. It's super pretty. It's one of their six-pan palettes. It has four 
mattes and two shimmers so i'm gonna go ahead and just like zoom i love the shades in here and i've seen a couple of tutorials with this palette and i just really like the tones so i decided to also get the bronzed rustic palette which is you know more bronzy wow i didn't open this one yeah i did I had to open the palettes like when I first got them because I wanted to make sure they weren't broken. So this is the bronzed rustic and this is what this one looks like. And I love this shade right here and this mustardy shade. This one also has four mattes and two shimmers which I like. I like that they didn't include glitters in these two because they typically tend to do that. I did get the four little quads that they came out with so i'm currently wearing this one which is called the rebel honey and this is what that one looks like so it's just like a warm palette it has three mattes i use this one first then went in with this one and put this one in my outer corner and i have this one on the lid so i used all four shades and then i did pick up the rebel mints which has two mattes and two shimmers Hopefully you guys can see the shades well. And then I got the Rebel Army, which is the most popular one. It's a beautiful green sagey palette. It's really pretty. Two mattes, two shimmers. And then finally we have, this one has like one satin, and two shimmers and one matte. This is the Rebel Grays. Alright, moving on to more Juvia's. This is the um, Blush Duo. And I also did pick up a contouring one. Which today I didn't wear blush because I was kind of in a rush. So I literally just used like setting powder and stuff. Um, this is the Blushed Rouge. Rougey. Um, and this is Volume 2. Which has more of a light pink and more of like a terracotta type of shade um i'm gonna go ahead and just like do quick swatches but hopefully these two work out pretty well for my skin tone one is like a little bit more peach and one is a little bit more pink so i'm sure if i mix them together it'll work perfectly fine and then i did get the bronzed duo which is in the shade medium so this is what this one looks like and it's super cute um i was gonna get the shade light but then i felt like it was too light and then i was gonna get the shade called tan but i felt like it was too dark so i got this one i kept telling myself like girl you know you're not that like dark i don't know why you keep getting such deep shades so yeah i'm super excited to try this formula and see how it works on my skin and then y'all i picked up so many lipsticks from Juvia's like it's kind of ridiculous just how many I've picked up but I'm gonna go through them so some I did pick up from the Juvia's Place website others I did pick up from Ulta so uh there's different nude versions there's the mauves there's the chocolates there's the peaches the nudes this is the nude peaches and this is the shade called Libra so packaging 10 out of 10 like I think it's so pretty and then this is the lipstick like it's so nice it looks so luxurious and these I bought when they were giving points for buying Juvia's place they were giving like 10 points for buying Juvia, so I got a lot of points on these. And this is the nude mauves, and this one is a shade called Chic. It's like very mauvey and really pretty. I just love nude lipsticks, so you know, you can never have enough. And then I also got uh, this is part of the chocolates, and I got Lady, which this one was the one I ordered off of the Juvia's Place website so yeah wow she is so pretty i love like brownie nudes like this like i think they're so stunning especially with like stripped down lip liner from mac or cork and then i got muted and this is part of the chocolates Muted is so pretty too 
like a very light brown i think i picked up just one more this is in vogue and this is part of their peaches this is what she looks like super pretty so yeah in total i picked up five shades um there are a ton of nudes in this collection and i definitely want to try out the formula and if i find more shades that cater to me like these were the ones that i definitely wanted um so yeah and then i also picked up two lipsticks from mac because they were doing the 10 points on these as well so i picked up this shade called honey love and i picked up this shade called yash because i saw spanish candy on instagram and twitter talk about these two shades so this is honey love it's like your classic nude and if it looks used it's because i already used it i wore it today with max strip down lip liner and it looked stunning and then i also picked up this shade called yash which is like a brown nude i've literally just been like stocking up on nudes because i really just I've been loving, I've, well, I have a lot of liquid lipsticks, but I don't have bullet lipsticks, so I just wanted to, like, get some for my collection. I really forgot to mention this I got on sale. Um, this wasn't part of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, but this was part of, like, the, um, a sale that Urban Decay was doing with Ulta. So, this is the Naked, Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. I picked up the shade called 30WY. <sighs> Let's see the moment of truth. I don't think oh, it's that bad. But we'll definitely have to see. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's pretty light. So, you guys, I'm so into like cream contouring right now that I've literally picked up almost every single cream contour that there is known to man um so this is one of them this is the huda beauty tantor contour bronzer um uh, contour, contour and bronzer cream so i picked up the shade light and i'm so excited to try this out i love the like little application of it it does have like a little cover but it's huge and it, you can just like dip your brush in there and put it on your face I've heard such good things about this one, so I'm super excited about that one. I also did pick up an all, all these products are now Sephora, unless I mention that it's from Ulta. So, yeah, this is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Sha Shaping Stick. Um, you know, Makeup by Mario is something that I'm super intrigued by, and he did release this little contour sticks so i was really excited to try it out and it does come with a brush at the end i did pick up the shade called medium um the light one like i said i purchased all of these online maybe i could have gotten the shade light medium but i didn't want it to be too cool so i got the shade medium can't wait to test this out and then i also did get the liquid touch foundation from rare beauty so it looks like it's gonna be a close match this is like a you know oh my god i've been having it just sitting here because like i've been wanting to film the haul but honestly it doesn't look that bad i feel like she'll be a good match and the shade i picked up was 210 neutral so this is the huda beauty faux filter skin finish buildable coverage foundation stick i've been wanting to try out a stick foundation for so long this one i think will be good i don't think it'll be too light i don't think it'll be too dark but yeah this is what she looks like i did get the shade 240n so super excited to try her out i can't wait because I heard it's really, really, really good. Um, I've seen a lot of people use it. I got the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation in Santa Fe. Like I said, I have not opened any of these up. So. This is what Mama's Santa Fe looks like. And we're going to pump her really quick. 
yeah see i can almost always tell when like a foundation is going to be my shade or not so santa fe looks pretty good before i forget i did get the huda beauty pound cake translucent or setting powder i'm wearing it today i really really do like it but it's all the way back in my drawer i already had put it up because i kind of messed up the box so i i don't have that in its packaging but just know i bought it and it's already put up so this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray <sighs> Everyone has been talking about how good the setting spray is and I'm just like over it. I know this one and the Scandinavia one and the Urban Decay one are like top three. I always hear a lot of people talking about them. But look at her in all her glory. She's stunning. So yeah, she's expensive too. But if she's going to keep my makeup on all freaking day, you know, why not? So then I did get the... Patrick Ta um, Monochrome Moment Velvet Blush. I've been wanting to get one of the cream blushes and cream bronzers with the powder bronzers and the powder blush, but he's been kind of out of stock on Sephora for a minute now. So I'm just waiting for like the Sephora, you know, like sale. And then I'll probably see if like they have them in stock and I'll pick them up then. I got this shade called She's Passionate. And this was only because I saw Salt um on instagram saying how good it was it already has like a ton of fingerprints but uh she said that she really liked the shade and i know she's like a more like natural girl when it comes to like makeup so yeah she's super freaking pretty look at how pretty that blush is so the next product i got was the airbrush flawless finish complexion perfecting micro powder from charlotte tilbury and i did pick up the shade called medium 2. the reason that i picked up this powder was because i've always wanted like a setting powder but to have a little bit of coverage not too much and this is medium 2. she only has four shades unfortunately so you know like this would work for me but that's already medium so you know it's kind of crazy but yeah i'm super excited i've heard really really great things about this powder so super excited to try it out and then finally the last setting powder that i picked up was the translucent loose setting powder um from laura mercier i've had this powder so many times in my lifetime but you know, like, I always end up, like, you know, like, getting rid of it or using it and, like, not really paying attention to it. So, I'm, like, this time I'm really going to pay attention to, like, how it's performing when I wear the makeup. And I did get the shade Translucent. They now have one called Light Catcher, which kind of piques my interest just because it has, like, some shimmer in it. And I know it looks like a glow from within. And I've just been really into that. Alright guys, so the last bit of products I did pick up during the 21 Days of Beauty. So this is the Cover X FX Monochromatic Blush Duo Matte and Shimmer. And I did pick up two shades for the blush. So yeah, this is the shade called Pink Dahlia and the shade Mohave Mauve. So I've heard super good things about these products. So... I was like, they usually always go on sale on Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Let me just pick up a couple of colors and like try them out. This is the shade Mojave Mauve. And it's like a pink shade and it has like the corresponding like, I don't know what it's called, like matte and shimmer. But I think you can mix both of them and make it like a shimmery blush or just use one or the other. And then Pink Dahlia. I was like, why didn't I pick up the peach shade? But... Um, this one's actually pretty peachy. It's so freaking pretty. So I'm going to test them out and see how I like them. And hopefully they work out and I can pick up a couple more blush shades the next time they have a sale. So this is the Sun Kissed Bronze. This is the Bronze Duo. This one looks like. And it's super pretty. I did get the shade called Sun Kissed Bronze. And I do believe it's like in between i don't think it's the lightest shade and i don't think it's the deepest um but yeah i just feel like this color is super pretty and again i'm pretty sure you can use 
both of them come together. I'm not really sure. I've never really seen a lot of people use them, so I'm not really sure how it's like traditionally used. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and to hit that notification bell. Bye.